This week, U.S. News and World Reports named David Thibodeau STEM Academy as one of the best high schools in the state. The school not only has that recognition, but their robotics team is also celebrating a big victory. Mike Carter explains his story all new tonight. So this right here is the actual ROV proper. Meet Aquatic Robots, David Thibodeau STEM Academy's team of underwater robot engineers. In their first year of competition, this co-ed team made up of seven Thibodeau students beat out four other Gulf Coast schools to become regional champions. Which is a little ironic whenever we end up beating them out. The kids compete in the competition put on by MATE, or Marine Advanced Technology Education. And while many of them have built robots before, this was their first time taking the plunge to building robots that can operate underwater. Underwater is a very different thing, uh, and not only is it a different thing, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a completely different type of a challenge. Competing schools are charged with creating a robot that can accomplish various underwater tasks in a 15 minute period. And we had to learn how to work with each other a lot better because we had those 15 minutes, which sounds like a long time, but whenever you actually get down there and start working on stuff, it's not. Each competition is designed to mimic real world situations. So they had a series of tasks related to inspecting a dam, um, removing trash, uh, repairing uh, certain things, um, dealing with wildlife. In the span of about three months, these seven teenagers became real life engineers, building a technology company from the ground up, even electing a CEO and CFO. Uh, I would say even more than all that, it probably teaches them um, how to work with each other. When, when the adversity struck and when they had issues, you know, they, they couldn't just start pointing fingers, you know, they had, to, they had to actually work together. The team will compete in the international competition for MATE in Tennessee next month. Until then, they'll keep refining the robot they call Betty, learning a little bit more about themselves in the process. In Lafayette, Mike Carter, KATC TV3.